Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, it probably won't be Sunday. I feel like I say that in every single video. Like I start my video off with hey, happy, whatever, and then when the video gets uploaded, it's not actually that day. But it is Sunday right now. I just got home from church. So even though you won't see this on happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to do a quick little like kind of a review, kind of is it worth it video because I have recently tried to get back in the gym after about a year of being away from the gym and so um, I have gotten several new brands I guess of like workout clothing, shoes, different supplements, things like that and I just wanted to kind of review those and give you like my opinion on if they're worth it because these brands are not new but they are getting more and more popular and I keep seeing them more and more places. Um, especially here on YouTube, on Instagram, things like that. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you are a pair of shoes that I have been wearing, and they are Adidas. Now, the ones that I've been seeing that are getting really popular or have been really popular are the Adidas NMDs. These are not the NMDs because I have a baby foot and I have not been able to find them in my size, which is bad because I can't find them in my size, but it's also good because kids' shoes are cheaper. So these I think would be, or what I would consider like the kids' version of the NMD, but these are the Adidas Original XPLR. So these are the kids' ones. They come in a couple different colors, but I really like black and white shoes. So this is what they look like. Um, these are around 60 to 70 dollars I believe so they are significantly cheaper than the NMDs so if you have a smaller foot um, I would definitely go for these to me these are definitely worth it worth the hype worth the price point whatever um, these are probably my favorite to pair of tennis shoes that I've ever owned because I like the way that they fit on my foot I feel like there are some shoes that like either the tongue is too big um, or they come up too high around your ankle. I don't know. It's just it's weird for me to find shoes that I really like that are also comfortable and I have completely fallen in love with these. The other thing that I really like about these is that you do not have to tie them. So this is just a drawstring. The tongue is actually attached. If you can see that, this is just one big piece of material. So the tongue is actually attached to the shoe so you don't have to worry about it turning or getting kind of stuck down in there, anything like that. You do not have to tie them. It's just elastic. There's a little drawstring right there if you want to tighten them up. I normally don't because they fit fine without that. Um, and yeah, these are, I don't know, these are just my favorite shoes. To me, for $60 or $70 for a good pair of tennis shoes is totally worth it. I would not recommend these if you are running, doing like any kind of plyometrics, jumping, anything like that. I probably wouldn't recommend because these are not super what would be the word like supportive I guess they are very cushiony but they don't have a whole lot of stability support so I probably would not wear them for something like that but just for a casual shoe or if you're just in the gym lifting weights not doing a whole lot of jumping running moving around with your feet then these are perfect so if you do not have a small foot that can fit in a kid's shoe I apologize um but I do like recommending things like that because I know I struggle with that problem and I don't feel like there's enough information I guess on things like that or reviews on things like that when you can't find your size and stuff so yeah the second thing while we are talking about clothing workout items or whatever is the brand Gymshark now as you can see I am wearing a Gymshark um, tank top right here the one that I have on is the Gymshark seamless vest I want to say it's what it's called seamless energy seamless something about seamless so this is the very first thing of Gymshark that I have tried and I love the material and the feel of this little bit of a backstory I guess I purchased a pair of the leggings from Gymshark and they were in an extra small because normally I can wear like an extra small or a small and they were way too small so I ended up sending those back I have not purchased another pair of leggings from them so I really can't talk about the brand as a whole um, I liked the leggings that I got they were very comfortable but like I said they just didn't fit so I don't feel like I can give an accurate review I guess on the brand as a whole but for the seamless line of their clothing I definitely think it's worth it 
Um, it can be a little bit pricey, but if you compare it to like Nike Under Armour, it's really not that bad. I want to say these tank tops are around in the $30 range maybe. Um, so that's pretty comparable to like Nike Under Armour, those bigger brands like that. However, I did not pay that for this shirt because I got this off of Poshmark. This shirt was never worn before and I got it for, I want to say I paid $15 maybe for it. So almost half price. If you have not um, heard of or used the Poshmark app and you are interested in that, I do have a code below. So, like I said, I do not feel like I can speak for the Gymshark brand as a whole other than this line right here. And again, this is the Gymshark Seamless Vest. So, um, this is what it looks like. It is it is a tighter fit and it's that um, dry material that's like sweat wicking, um, but it's also very breathable. It's just a racer back uh, tank top and like I said, it is very fitted, but it's also very stretchy. Um, and I am wearing a small right now. I could probably wear a medium if I really wanted to, but this one fits me fine. Um, they are very fitted, so if you want it a little bit looser, I would size up. But, um, yeah, my overall review of this is that I really like it. So, I am very happy with it. I think that it's definitely worth, worth the hype. Um, and again, if you don't want to pay full price for it, you could definitely go, like, on Poshmark, Mercari, places like that. It's, they're all over those kind of sites, so you can get it for a little bit cheaper. Next, uh, thing I'm going to talk about, which is... <sighs> super popular has been for a while now but it's also super pricey is um the lulu lemon align pants mine are the cropped ones because i am very short i'm like five foot five foot one on a good day i've seen these everywhere i've heard people just talk about how amazing they are um, how much they love them, blah, 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 blah. And I'm thinking in my head, there is no way ever on this earth that I will spend that kind of money on leggings ever. Um, however, I happened to be by a Lululemon store the other day. And so I went in just to try them on and see what all the big fuss was about with these leggings. And that was a huge mistake. I fell in love with them. They were the most comfortable pair of leggings I've ever put on my body. They felt like butter going on basically and when you move they don't like ride up. You don't have to pull them back down and adjust them. They basically like cling to you and move with you. So they were the most comfortable pair of leggings I had ever put on. And I debated back and forth on whether or not I wanted to actually purchase them or not. And then I decided to go ahead and splurge on my first pair of Lululemon leggings. And they are, to me, worth it. Now, I don't know if they're worth the price point or not because they are very, very pricey. Um, and that's not to say that other leggings don't work just as well. But they are, to me, the most comfortable pair of leggings I've ever put on. I got mine in black just because I like black leggings because you can pair any color top with it. So um, this is what the front looks like. This is the back. And these are very high-waisted, which some people like and some people don't like that. I personally love it because when you're working out... Um, it just kind of, mine come up to probably about here on me, but when you put them on, they like, like suck everything in, um, but not in a, not in an uncomfortable way. They are so very soft and comfortable, and I really don't even know how to explain. Like, I have Under Armour ones on right now, and just touching these and touching these feels totally different. They are expensive. They are an investment but they are the most comfortable leggings ever. I have worn these to work out in. I have worn these just running errands just every day to be comfortable and I could seriously live in these leggings. The material is comfortable. The way that they fit is comfortable. Um, when you're working out, the fact that they move with you and you don't have to readjust them all the time is amazing. So to me, these are definitely, definitely worth the hype. And again, these are the Lululemon Align crops and these are the regular 19 inch ones, but the 21s, and the pants, they feel the exact same way. It really just depends on like what length you want. All right. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is a self-tanner. Um, I have heard and seen a lot of stuff within the um, fitness community. Not that I am in any way, shape, or form in this fitness community whatsoever. <laughs> um, I try, but I'm not. 
but this self tanner is very popular I guess within that community and so I just wanted to kind of talk about that because I did uh, I did stray away from my comfort zone and my favorite self tanner that I have used for years and years to try this um, and so I wanted to just go ahead and kind of let you know about it so this is the glow pro tans self tanner I have used the Saint Tropez self tanner for years and years and I absolutely love that tanner but like I said I had kind of seen this getting really popular and so I decided to try it. It is a little bit cheaper than Saint Tropez which that was a plus for me. It was I want to say it's like around $30 maybe and then I used I found someone that had a code for this on YouTube and um, well hi Tux. Hi Mama. Um, I found a code to use on this from somebody on YouTube and got um, a percentage off or free shipping or something like that. So it came out to be right around $20, which to me for a good self tanner is an amazing price point. Um, that's one of the reasons that I wanted to talk about this. This is the Glow Pro Tans and this is the 14% DHA Ultra Bronze Professional Grade Sunless Tanning Mousse. So this does have a stronger, stronger, more potent I guess um, percentage of DHA um, and just a couple of things about this I am wearing it right now I feel like it looks super super bronzy on camera it looks way more natural in person um, I'll, all I do is I will get in the shower shave exfoliate all of that and then I get out and I just use a regular mitt I think mine came from Ulta um, and then I just apply this now this is one that you have to keep on for eight hours so what I typically do is put it on and sleep in it and then get up the next morning and rinse the guard color off you can kind of see right there in the lid that it is a true like brown bronzy color and that's the guard color that's just kind of leaking out of the top right there um, so yeah I actually really like it this is my second time to wear it uh, I the only thing that I've noticed is right around my feet and my ankles and I exfoliated I put lotion on everything and it's still just kind of like patched up right around there but I wear tennis shoes or I mean I wear sandals during the summer but to me it's really not that big of a deal people know that I self tan um, I used to stay in a tanning bed all the time and I just decided that I wasn't going to harm my skin anymore and so I do self tan I'm totally not ashamed to say that so if people can see a line on my foot I don't I mean it is what it is I would rather have that than skin cancer so that doesn't really bother me that bad um it is pretty dark I've only this, I mean I put it on one time you can definitely layer this if you want it to be a little bit darker but yeah um so my opinion on this is the color and everything is comparable to Saint Tropez and the other colors out there um the reason that I would recommend this is because of the price point is cheaper than most professional grade self tanners out there i mean for twenty dollars you really can't beat that to me um this is for sure uh worth the hype last but not least is a supplement brand this is the brand first form and i wanted to talk about this brand because i have mixed feelings and i will explain why in just a second um this is the first form brand they have your typical supplements protein um branch chain amino acids uh pre-workout like all of that type of thing um i purchased two things from them i got some um amino acids because i drink those while i work out and then i also got some protein to drink after a workout or like as a mid-morning snack or to put in stuff or whatever so um basically they promote this brand off of the flavor and like the smoothness of the products so that's what i'm going to talk about um the first thing that i ordered were the bcaa's which is branch chain amino acids and at the time that i ordered they only had two flavors it was blue raspberry or lemonade i think um and i am not a fan of lemonade in general so i went with the blue raspberry um, and the reason that I have mixed feelings about it is because of this shipping was super fast customer service was amazing They wrote a little personalized note on the receipt, which I think that goes a long way That means that they take time to appreciate their customers and pay attention to the sales and things like that So um, their customer service was great shipping was amazing um, The only complaint that I have is that I do not like the BCAAs I have tried several different brands of branch chain amino acids um, I've had watermelon, I've had raspberry, I've had blue raspberry, I've had all kinds of different um, flavors and brands and I do not care for 
the branch chain amino acids. To me, it has a weird aftertaste, I guess, like when you drink it and then you swallow it, it just leaves like a funny, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like a weird taste, I guess. Um, so I do not care. I'm going to drink these um, because, I mean, they work. It is what it is. I've already bought them. But I probably will not repurchase the BCAAs. So in that aspect, this was not worth the hype to me. Um, other people might get them and absolutely love them. But for me personally, the BCAAs were not worth the hype. They are pricey. I mean, they're average price, but, but amino acids in general are pricey. So for what I paid for them, it is though, I will say, some of the other amino acids that I have gotten like other brands, the container is like half the size of this. So I will say that you do get a lot of bang for your buck. Like you get a big container of BCAAs for the price point. Um, but on the flip side of that, for what I paid for them, to not love the flavor, to me is not worth it. So um, I did not care for the blue raspberry BCAAs from first form. So like I said, that's where my mixed feelings come in because this part to me was not worth it. The protein, however, is definitely worth it. The protein is the best protein, hands down, that I have ever tried. And again, I've tried protein from several different brands, several different flavors. I've had banana, I've had chocolate, vanilla, malt chocolate, um, all kinds of different flavors of protein and from different brands and this is the level one protein from first form in the flavor caramel latte this however is hands down worth the hype if you are looking for a good protein either for a meal replacement for a snack if you want to put this in stuff to cook with it um, I do all of those things, but I also, after I finish my workout, I come home and I just put a scoop of this in a shaker bottle with um, half water and half milk, and I just drink a protein shake. This is amazing. I cannot say that enough. Um, this is probably the smoothest protein that I've ever drank before. It's not chalky. It's not gritty. It is so good. Like, I look forward to drinking this. Normally with protein, it's like... Let me chug this as fast as I can just to get it down. <laughs> but this I really enjoy. I've put this in smoothies. Um, I've put this in oatmeal. I have, like I said, drank just a straight protein shake with it. And I like it all kinds of ways. Their most popular flavor, I think, is like ice cream sandwich or mint chip ice cream sandwich or something like that. Um, I would love to try those. But I love coffee. And I was reading reviews of people putting this in their coffee, which I have not done that yet. But I love coffee, and I get tired of flavors really easily, but I figured since I like coffee so much that I would not get sick of the caramel latte. So this is what I went with. This container is 2.45 pounds, which is about average for protein. This was in the $40 price range, which again is about average for protein. So for this, for the amount that you get, for the price point, for the flavor, was totally 100% hands down worth the hype. If you're looking for a protein, I definitely recommend you try First Form. I've heard that all of their flavors are really good. But again, this is just the one that I went with because I really like coffee. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I um, really, like I said, I just wanted to sit down because I know these brands are not new, but I feel like they're getting more and more popular within the like fitness lifestyle, whatever you want to call it, um, community, and I decided to try some of them, so I wanted to just kind of give you my opinion, my thoughts, my review um, on those brands, and tell you which ones I thought were worth it, maybe what wasn't really worth it, um, so yeah, if you have any questions or any comments or any suggestions, ideas, anything like that, then please feel free to leave those down below, um, and thank you guys so much, as always, for watching this video, and I hope that you have a very blessed week, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.